Hey everyone, Pat from Aeroflow Performance, and today I'm going to introduce you to our one piece billet flex plate program. So as everyone uh, would be familiar with an automatic transmission behind uh, a combustion engine, you'll find a flex plate. Uh, so on automatic, you've got a flex plate. On a manual transmission, you have a flywheel. Um, this is what basically bolts to the crankshaft. So the flange on the back of the crankshaft. Then you've got your flex plate and then your torque converter or your stall converter from your automatic bolts onto that. Now, there's only a few a few situations where um, you might find that the flex plate is inadequate uh, in a uh, in a driveline system. Um, you might find that uh, in a couple of small situations, uh, flex plate can crack. Um, these things are going to be um, perhaps a misalignment, um, which can cause binding, uh, uh, incorrect torque setting when securing the flex plate to the crank. Um, if you over torque the nuts or the bolts that uh, that hold it on. Uh, you might find that it flexes it out uh, and it deforms, so then you've got an increased amount of stress and load on the flex plate. Uh, or even if you're running a standard flex plate with a much, much higher uh, level of horsepower or like a competition sort of level for drag racing and things like that, you might find that a standard flex plate is a very thin, uh, very thin pressed steel material. It won't stand up to the amount of torque load uh, or perhaps even if you've got a trans brake, which is you know, almost like just sidestepping a clutch in an automatic, you let the trans brake go, a shock load comes through this uh, flex plate from the engine uh, and the gearbox mating. So that's why you would perhaps need to look at an upgraded flex plate. Now we've been doing flex plates for a while. Um, they're a steel flex plate. They're a two piece design. So here's one that um, some of you may be familiar with. It's a LS to turbo 400 uh, conversion flex plate. So why, why isn't this uh, say good enough for the application? Probably 90% of, of the times this will be good enough uh, for the application. It is a high strength steel, but it's a stamped steel plate that is then welded to this milled outer ring. These pucks that are here, which mounts your, uh, that your flex, uh, sorry, your stall converter or your torque converter mounts to, these milled pucks are welded onto that plate. So you've got effectively three pieces that are all stuck together, effectively welded together. And that basically in high horsepower or very aggressive uh, sort of applications, that's three points where you might find a failure eventually. So the weld to the outer ring might become an issue, the welds for the pucks might become an issue, and then you'll have potentially a failure. Not a bad thing, but perhaps not for you know, very high, high horsepower or uh, competition application. A solution to that, the one piece billet flex plate. As you can see, there are no welds, this flex plate or these flex plates are made from one piece of 4340 round bar uh, so quite a large billet section that's sliced down and then machined uh, to make this design um, as we just touched on there's no failure points for that so there's nothing that's welded on the ring gear is part of the flex plate there's no pucks that are welded on for your torque converter uh, that's basically all spaced and designed to suit uh, the application without the addition of anything welded on. So that's uh, slightly thicker than a standard flex plate as well, uh, as well as the material change. And that's gonna give you uh, that high performance. So we've got a few different options uh, for these. We've got, uh, this is a Barra uh, flex plate. So the Ford six cylinder Barra motor uh, flex plate, which suits um, four-speed BTR transmission, six-speed ZF transmission, and also turbo 400 um, bolt pattern or turbo uh, bolt pattern for the converter. Uh, we also have the LS, um, LS to turbo 400, 
And we also have the Chevy uh, to turbo 400, 350 um, bolt pattern. So these are the three that are available uh, in stock for sale at the moment. We also have uh, Ford Windsor uh, coming out or Ford Small Block coming out. And we also have uh, Holden motor to uh, turbo 400 bolt pattern. That's gonna be in the new year, uh, hopefully first half of uh, 2022. A couple of other key features uh, that we need to touch on just quickly is as you can see um, by the label, these are SFI rated. So for a drag racing guys, um, this is an SFI rated thing. There is no option with the billet flex plates. They're all SFI rated, that's how they come. Uh, also, you might be thinking, okay, a two-piece design is good because if a starter, a misaligned starter wears out this ring gear, uh, these teeth on here, uh, or it gets damaged somehow, you know, anything can happen, um, you can replace that. That won't be an issue because of A, the material is a much higher quality and much stronger quality, but the outer section is also heat treated so that those teeth uh, won't wear with just regular use from a uh, from the appropriate starter motor. Obviously, if there's a misalignment or you know something's not quite right, you're trying to make an odd starter motor work or something, um, you may still get some wear there. But they are heat treated uh, and they are a very high quality 4340 steel, so uh, that won't be a problem on those. Another thing I know there's a few of you out there from the import uh, import world. Yes, we are doing a billet Nissan RB motor to turbo 400 flex plate that will be coming with the uh, the holden and the ford uh, designs in the new year so keep an eye out for that all of these as i mentioned are on the shelf and ready to go so if you're interested in a very high performance uh, very high quality billet one piece flex plates you can check them out at your local distributor quality retail outlet or online at aeroflowperformance.com <laughs>